two, one, action. You love me. Message me and let me know that you would kiss me. Haha, <laughs> you wish. What's up, what's up, people? Aguan, welcome back to another video. So, we have another upload from Chantal. This one is entitled The Best Chicken Burger is in Kuwait. Lord God, all this time I think they say the best chicken burger in Kuwait. The girl said the best chicken burger is in Kuwait. America, Canada, England, Jamaica. Only not have no burger? Quite like the Kuwaiti burger. Yeah, the bestest of burger, chicken burger. Is in Kuwait. And remember now, when the lady make we know say the chicken in Kuwait is so halal. It's the best, the best of the chicken. So chickeny. So after all, the best of chicken burger is in the Kuwait. <laughs> oh, the delusion is screaming today. Also, good girl included like what is? I guess I don't know some mouse. Good girl included um. Halloween thingy, a ghost and whatnot. She she determined to take part in this Halloween business. Anyways, people, Salah is okay with Chantal making a mockery of his religion and his tradition and all of that. Fine by me. Anyways, make we get into this. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> oh, hello. Salam alaikum. Welcome, welcome. I have fast food. I know I'm like, I'm trying to stay away from fast food. I'm trying mm, to. I, that's what I was wondering. You came on here last night and you was like, oh, I'm not eating fast food. No, where well, you said junk food. To be fair, you did say junk food. Same thing. Same difference. But here you are less than 24 hours later. Today, obviously, I'm failing at that attempt. <laughs> Um, so here we go. I'm just going to eat with you guys my dinner. This is a meal deal. We ordered like, uh, they have really good deals right now. Shanta, you know what? What would have been a better title for this video and the other videos? Kuwait always has a deal. So it's always a deal in Kuwait. Something to that effect. Make it work, girl. Right? You're the content creator. So we are copycats and we are leeches. So we don't know. You make the you make the proper proper title where it's supposed to get. But yeah, that you must say Kuwait have the deals. The food deals, best of food deals. Yeah, girl. Um at Naive Chicken. So this is local Kuwaiti. Fresh from the Kuwaiti farms, chicken. Um <laughs> fresh from the farms. It's so fresh. So chickeny. The freshest of the fresh chicken the girl get today. Even though it's fast food. It's so fresh. So I think I ate, I don't know if I ever ate this with you guys. Maybe once. I'm not sure. Hi, baby girl. Hi. Uh, so I have a large Mirinda. I know the cup is, you know, Pepsi, but it's actually Mirinda, which is cool. Oh, it's going to tell me. Um, soda. That's it. It's Kuwait soda. Is it like a brand or a flavor? I don't understand. You just said the word. It's Kuwait soda. Is it Kuwaiti brand soda or is it a Kuwaiti flavor soda? Leave it to the content, the content creator. I can't talk for shit tonight. Orange soda. So I guess it's a brand. It's the brand. Two, it comes with two knife. No, 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 no. <laughs> two knife crispy chicken burgers. I of have course. my pickles. Yeah. I have my cat here. <laughs> Yeah. I have some thousand. Uh, listen, one of the understanding is see the chicken in Kuwait is so great, but it's even better with fleas and cat ear and like dirty, messy paw from the litter box and them little way they put in all about by your table, all by your food and them little way they, you know, on the floor, run up and down, and you feed the cat on the floor and then you eat with the same and you use touch the floor. Hey man. Them look extra flavor day. Make Kuwait chicken so nice. Chantal, see me crack the code for your gal. Islands dip, some fries, and some mozzarella sticks. So let's dig in. Bismillah. Oh, and I have rose halib, uh, which is what is rice that? Pudding. Right. Uh, 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 so you know, even like a wallet, make we see. Okay, then. Right. 
So I'm just actually going to put one of these away for now. You know, they're very heavy and very big. I bet. So, I don't know. I got the spicy ones. And I'm just going to put <laughs> going to put some ketchup on this plastic thing. Shanta, you know them plastic plate the way I have around this and I look a beat down kitchen. And them something you're supposed to pull them out for. Yeah, instead of you eat on the piece of plastic. Yeah, girl. For my first. All right. I can't wait to dig in. Baby girl. No, baby girl. You mm -hmm. have your own mm -hmm. food. The way you should try very hard for someone like me. Yeah, girl. Work. Stop. Go eat your butchers. Nobody wants to see your cat ears, or maybe they do. You are cute. Okay. We have a cheese stick. Probably not no cheese bowl after this point. Oh. <coughs> the whole thing came out. Go back in there. Yes. Go Until today, dear, we can't answer the excitement with cheese. I know we get to fried cheese. Like, leave me alone. Go back from whence you came. They have like a seasoned breading. They're good. Fries are delicious. Better than McDonald's. <laughs> of course, they're better than McDonald's too. She in a riff with McDonald's now, you know. McDonald's now have no problem with Chantal. You know, Chantal have a problem with McDonald's. Of course, better than McDonald's as, as well. Just like how Krispy Kreme is better than Tim Hortons. Yeah, because that's all Kuwait have. And because she has to make a statement now, yeah, and I involve ourselves in the things when I if we do, our, do it our. This franchise, ni Knife, better than McDonald's. <laughs> okay, girl. What herb this is, but it's good. People are like, your pickles look like um beans. They're actually, I think, Lebanese cucumbers. That's why. <sighs> oh my gosh. What in the... Bumbo wow. plot. No, Chantal, that not big. This is not big. This is huge. Actually, this is huge. Your big old hamburger helper hands them, them they're big. And this thing is bigger than your hands. This year I forgot double fists for eat. Are you going to eat one of them, my girl? Murder! <laughs> it's huge! It looks like a beef. Right, sir? Burger is juice ground chicken, spicy mayo, lettuce, tangy pickles, a soft sesame bun. Spicy mayo. How that work? Burger. I think they use ground chicken. I thought it was the spicy crispy burgers. Okay. That Maybe shit like. is huge. Yum. Honest to God, if Chantal eat them two sitting here tonight, or if she even eat like three quarter one and then start on the next one, I swear me I go flip sitting. I am going to toss something tonight. Girl, don't be greedy. Please don't be greedy. Brown chicken. Brown control to major chicken. So this bumbo one is a three quarter and cut off every time. I want, whoops. What kind of content creator this? If I ever ate <clears throat> knife with you guys guys before, let me know. Mm, I think in a vlog, that meat is so good. So I thought I would share some Kuwaiti um, fast food. Fried cheese, a lady I eat, you know? I just still have to dip it in or something. The cheese not enough by itself. You know what? Let me add some mayonnaise, some dip, some ranch, some, some ketchup, some something to it. Take that McDonald's. Look at the girl that chuck back them fries here. Them knife fries here. The girl that chuck them back. She ain't never chuck back McDonald's fries like this. Of course she has. <laughs> of course she has. But we are help feed the little Dilolo tonight. She, she never chuck back McDonald's fries them way, yeah? Bestest ever. Better than McDonald's. You heard it here first. <laughs> Yum. Mm, see? Yum. The fries are good. Reinforce the statement that Chantal tell them. It's better than McDonald's. McDonald's ain't never taste this good girl. There's a few restaurants who have there, that like make really good fried chicken here. Knife does fried chicken. Better than McDonald's too. Did I tell you that I love the food in Kuwait? Yeah, I'm sure I have. <laughs> no, Chantal, I you most certainly have not. Please take a moment and remind us. Not no remind us. Fuck, what am I saying? She's never told us, right? You no, remember that scene from Men in Black where them come with a little zapper and then, then wipe your memory. You look at that. Windscreen wind wipe, up, wipe up on your brain with a little zapper. Girl, no, girl, you never tell me nothing about the food in Kuwait. Do it lighten us. Look, we know. 
<laughs> How are y'all doing today? Hope you're doing okay. We have plans tomorrow to go shopping. Finally, I think we're better. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Babe. Humbucker. Babe. Maybe. Where's your babe? I think if you want this, uh, <clears throat> this burger, they're, you, they're very huge. I don't think I'll be able to eat two. Watch really? Re really no? Re really no? What's going on here tonight? Huh? Babe? So Chantal, I mean, if you tell me, say, you had a, like, a meal, a two-for-one meal at the restaurant. The food came and you sat down and you started stuffing your face. Put one off camera on the floor while you sit down spreading eager. So, um, go struck before you, <laughs> before you jump in at the comment tonight and remind me, say, Chantal is sat down spread eager. Yeah, the picture that in my mind tonight. So meanwhile, she sat here with her legs, them spread eagle like she did in at the cafe, cat cafe. She take the food off of the mukbang table because it is so much, right? And she put it on the floor. And then she's going to be like, babe, babe, do you want this burger? Say me for tell me, say I out of the food, girl, and I out of nothing for the man. You want it, I go eat all of this? And then it's done and like I chuck the food back and it start get cold. It's when you want to find one of the little dirty burger. Feel how heavy it is? Really? Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I move into the maga blood clot troll. You can't troll away. <laughs> I might maybe good for five people. All right, you and this fat troll. Hmm. No, but seriously, um, let me know how you like it. It's delicious. Don't tell about it. That probably would be delicious or even more delicious if it give to him one time. It, it's still like warm. This point now, it look dry. This look dry and, and, and dusty. Can you imagine? That one you put on the floor and Julia sniff it and all kind of something. He yeah, deserve that still. Could cat piss for the pan it too. Dirty boy. Now, so yeah, we have plans tomorrow. Go shopping for some things for the kitchen. So I can continue my cooking. You, you probably need to start by buying a kitchen. Start this. Up. You can't have no kitchen. Buy a stove. Buy a little space. And then you buy a stove. One counter, one kitchen island and some cupboard. Start this. Up. Then I get some pots and pan, kitchenware, some knives, some fork, some like, what I'm calling to, fancy fine china ware. Mm -hmm. Put in your kitchen. What do you say? What are some kitchen items I should get? Bitch, I know you're the married man. I don't understand now. You always attack the rest of be like, where's your boyfriend? Where's your husband? I know, I know you alone. I know you're going to say you're alone married. You get the last of the husband. You get the last ring, the last marriage certificate. Girl, not that sweet. Don't ask where you're supposed to get. Are you are the proper proper married man, you know? Instead of the rest of we have fake boyfriend and all kind of something, and fake husband. So don't ask where you're supposed to get. Yeah, the housewife, make your list, and then the rest of we can copy our fight cause, you know? We need the Chantal blueprint for live life cause we're all like useless, worthless people when I have no life. We have to do top up groceries because it's been, it's been over a week now. We still have some things. I would hope so, Chantal. You got two trolleys loaded with junk food, bread, cheese, sauces. I would hope you still have some of that left. It's not going to be like a huge grocery order. It's just going to be like getting things I'm out of. But yesterday I replenished all my spices. I need a funnel. Have you ever tried doing a uh, filling your spice rack without a funnel? Oh my gosh. Shut up, boat. You mean if you tell me said the great way to everything is better, I don't have your spices come already bottled in proper containers where you can just use from. But it sounds like I some get a beaver like you bought some spices, aka some seasoning in plastic baggies and you have to like move them over to a container. How can I get a life that may I live in a good good Kuwait girl where everything is so much better? What else did I do? Clot. Be in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chantal and Amberlin are the same, you know. They sit down and they think about the little mundane things where you normally do in the day. And they make it sound like it is so much work because they sit down and they pinpoint out everything. The rest of us would probably just classify them as tidying up the house. Or some people might refer to it as, or as chores. They might get them sit down and they say, oh, I got out of bed. And then I, I put the, the covers back on my bed. 
And then I like mopped my floors. I went in the kitchen and I made breakfast. Then I washed the dishes. And then I went from the kitchen over to the couch, the sofa, and I sat there. And then I dusted the center table off. I fluffed the, the, the cushions on the sofa. Yeah, them accident and them name out them look at something they wanny wanny to make it sound like them be active and them do the most. Because what else them do other than just get up and eat? I, I doubt them two bitches are even brush them teeth like the first thing pan them want them mind as them wake up a food. Roll out of the bed, immediately them ready for eat. I don't think these bitches wash them face, brush teeth. <laughs> so of course they're gonna like, you know, anything outside of eating is a task. So we're going to list them out, make it sound like the day has been busy. I hate doing that, more than the stove. And I usually clean my fridge. Should I think up the lie? Oh, in between grocery hauls, like usually because something leaks, like I buy a lot of pickles and olives and somehow the containers just always leak. So I always have to like clean my fridge out. Shut down, move your dirty blood. Hey girl, move your dirty blood clot and go away. Me clean my fridge once a month. Every time I go to grocery shopping once a, once a month is when I clean my fridge. Shut down, we are talking about. Girl, you not get up and clean up, but in between grocery hauls. Bitch, you go shopping like, Last week, you say, about a week ago, you mean if you tell me, say, yeah, fine time for go clean for dragon? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, the, the racks come out easily. I used to clean my fridge, like, like when I was in the villa, not very often. It was never really that dirty inside, but... <laughs> I'm definitely trying to take better care of my home because it just helps your mental health. It really does. Chantal and, and Jada Pinkett Smith, I read the same book, them, you know. I said, they know the little buzzword them to say, to like try to be relatable with people and, you know, tapping on the little emotions, mental health. I, I wonder if, you, if we so eat, start here, the girl start talk about the journey that she's on. Chantal, tell me about your journey, girl. The next upload on the couple's channel, just, just that delete, delete the, um, the rest of the Kuwait. It's them where you have girl talk. I can't tell you already, said my fuck, you know. Meet them shanta me a gear idea. You see the same book where Jada Pinkett slung on uh, a read and on a pick and choose, cherry pick and choose them like a buzzword that for try. Tap on people's heartstrings and we look emotion also. Girl, the next video must entitle it The Journey of Getting to Know My Husband since we're living together in court. Girl, give me something like that. Give me something like that, Chantal. You might use the word journey next. You have the mental health part? Yeah. Give the journey next girl. Me could know say the two are go to school together. On a cross road together. Yeah. On a take the same class also. Yeah, girl. You have the mental health part done, Pat. Move on to your journey now, girl. I know it's really hard to. Like, nearly impossible. Some days I'll just do, like, the basics. Make sure, you know, <coughs> how his cage is spot clean. Do the litter. Feed the feed the cat, of course. <laughs> Hear they. Um, Hear they. What am I telling you to say? See them all list down there like, look, a mundane task we have to do day after day. There's so much work, guys. Our dainty queen has got to work. Ugh, this cat and this rat won't take care of themselves. Have the girl working. Feed my husband. <laughs> no. Uh, Rascals. The <laughs> least has been feed our husband to pussy class. Can't tell the rest of the way. We say we are feed with husband in our normally go in the kitchen and sleep over like a proper, proper meal. From scratch, I will not make all light together in a one pan. But them something they're supposed to do like a slave over the stove and then you can talk, say, you feed your husband. You are a takeout, girl. Who's ya? Um, usually on those days when I'm really struggling, we'll order out. Or, I don't know, I just do the bare minimum on the garbage. You know, that kind of thing. But I'm really trying to, like, keep everything super clean, as clean as possible. I vacuumed the couch before this video because it was full of cat hair. I have to vacuum, like, every other day. But we have a really good vacuum. It was expensive vacuum, but it works so well. The difference between like a cheap vacuum and an expensive vacuum is night and day. I always used to buy cheap vacuums and like it wouldn't be long before they don't work and stop suctioning. They still have vacuum repair bands. Anyway, one thing I do to really motivate myself. Think about the journey ahead. Um, to keep Remember Claude, the girl use a napkin and wipe her nose and then immediately wipe her mouth. Oh my God. Keep up with my domestic duties. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Hold on. Go back, go back, go back. Myself to keep up with my domestic duties. <laughs> Where the blood clot this? Where the blood clot this? Where the blood clot this? 
Domestic duties, so Chantal, me here, say all rubbish you carry out. I mean, but then I say, you fuck, why can't I even bring out the rubbish out to the trash can or the corner of the road? Not even that you look a fuck, why can't do? So, when I rent the apartment and all of the domesticated duties, who call, who call house chores, like tidying up around, tidying up after yourself, because you don't have no fucking picnic either. Who calls tidying up their environment where them sit down in a 24 7 domestic duties? This has got to be a joke. Because I tell myself, like, how lucky I am. Like, how grateful and thankful I am that I can work from anywhere and stay at home and do my own thing on my own time. And my job, I make it part of my job to take care of my home, you know? Amazing matcha sticks with real mozzarella. So, I mean, yeah. I like shit think about now. I feel like I tell myself, I tell myself, you know, I, ha I don't have, like, a an actual job. No, you don't. That makes me leave the home. Although, that might change. <sighs> And we ask you, tell me more. Shut your mouth and keep on talking, Chantal. Tell me more. You're going to work outside? Salah giving you like a dex job. And the corner which part him selling bees and spread him grandma gear a dex job? Tell me more. Shut your mouth and keep on talking. I may possibly be starting to do some work. Oh, yeah, I see. I am. If I do get this, it might allow me to travel here and there too. Mostly through like the Gulf countries. And what kind of work? Chantal, what you do? Apply to work on Doha, your lines? And I go on, I don't understand. What kind, of, what kind of job you got, you know? Ah, you don't feel like, like come and sit down and eat the girl, I understand. I cannot tell you. Ob well, obviously. That would be stupid. So editing me here, it just crossed my mind now that Chantal, she knows that she's not going to get the visa the next time she go up for renewal. So she's going to be like, oh, I got this job that I can travel and do my vlogging. So when I see her, I hop like bada to bada, non-stop and can't get back in a Kuwait. She can't see her work, she her work. But just know. That might be coming up. Okay. I'm hoping it does happen because it's a uh, great opportunity. So yeah, that's all I can say. I'll be keeping that a bit private <laughs> as well. Sorry, but ground chicken has the potential to be very dry. You know, the chicken is juicy. The pickles are amazing. The sauce. Yes, yeah, Shanta. It, it it was all of it was made in Kuwait. So the, because the chicken halal, it juicy. Because the bun was made in Kuwait, it's so soft. We get it. We get it. Spicy, but ooh, it's good. I'm not going to be able to eat the other burger. I actually already gave it to the... What are that? Me just snuggle, so what do you mean by you're not going to eat the next burger? Like, you know, you, you call, babe, baby, come and take this dirty burger. You know, I already gave it to you. mean by you're not going to be able to eat the next... Well, what are you going to so? Just a lot. <laughs> I'll cut it out. Yell for him to come get it. But he has his own meal. He has uh, chicken and rice. <laughs> I oh, him have chicken and rice, but you give him this five pound burger. Okay, the two I know, you is a fat troll asshole, and him is a maga blood clot that he troll too. The two I deserve each other. Most places here have a standard chicken and rice dish, even places like Wendy's. That's all I can say about working, but it's an opportunity that came up to me. Ah, 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 voila, 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 blood clot minute. Don't what you mean by opportunity came up to you. T tell me something, you know. So you have other people out there where out every day, day after day, look, you see them I look for work and can't find a work, Chantal. And you lock up in a year apartment day after day after day. Opportunity come to you. Who shall tell a child if you convince her this shit now? Like, girls, I got me fucked up, Chantal. You need to see the opportunity come to her. When I grow, I like hear my mother say things like, yeah, anything you want, like, you have to go, to go get it, go look it, because it now go come find you inside of your house. So if you want the good job, you have to go out there and prospect and send out application and then make a way there. Make sure so you get the work where you want. If you're off age and you look like a spouse, you have to go out there in the dating scene and then where the cars is not like Mr. Wright is going to come and knock at the door. <laughs> Shut up, the opportunity came to her to post the clad. This, uh, this fat troll asshole. And if I can get it. But I, 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 I accept, I really appreciate you guys. It, it, you see, this uh, is a blood clot lie. The girl is telling her, see, see how I get tongue tied too. Shut up, so fucking lie, like, our tongue tied up to say the words. Because she knew our brain, like, I say, lie, 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 lie. Privacy, a lot of you. Girl, fuck your privacy. Like, when, like, how you come here, you can stop camera in your face. This was a choice of yours. Oh, privacy. You and your privacy. Rose Halib. Let's try like the milk will calm down the I wish I had Definitely not that thing. full. That's good. Vanilla, sweet, creamy, milky. And it's rice. 
It's fucking rice. Of course, you'd have ordered it. You know, I have no Krispy Kreme left for yesterday, Chantal. We could have eaten one of that little piece. Lad. It's still weird to me that rice could be a dessert, but it's so good. So my favorite Middle Eastern desserts are Rosa Leib, um, Mahalabia. Shut the, shut the fuck up. Your favorite anything is whatever is, is sat in front of you at the time eating. Not at that. Only am nothing tell you. Whatever you have at the moment and whatever your mind like, stray off to think about what you got to have tomorrow and them something they're your favorite. Don't list nothing for me, girl. Which is like a creamy dessert. I think with rose water, pistachio, um, ali, basbusa, kanafa. There's so many. <laughs> Halawa, ajubin. Lady still all these sort of things to pussy clot in and normally when they say, you know, what's my favorite ice cream or my favorite dessert? People might say things like ice cream. To be more specific, they might say like vanilla ice cream. Chantal name up about 100, food, 100 different desserts, you know? Like me say, our favorite of anything is whatever she's sat eating at the time. Definitely delicious. I'm actually pretty full, so I'll keep this in the fridge. Sure. It can last a few days. Uh-huh. I didn't finish this, it's huge. <laughs> I think they didn't put enough syrup and now it tastes like electricity. Anyway, I guess that's about it. Uh, thanks for having dinner with me as always. And I'll see you guys in the next live stream or video. Bye. Bye. I sh- Bomba clata, what? <laughs> Shut up, get fucked. Fuck off. Move a blood clata and go ahead. What opportunity come to you? I wish opportunity had drop in on anybody lap. You locked away inside the apartment every day. Not even a figure out the next content you're going to upload, the combat work opportunity came to me. Oh, very blood clad. <laughs> Anyways, people, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.